before we get started today, there's a really adorable detail in the Nintendo Land Plaza that I wanted to point out real quick. <laughs> These bad guys are surrounding this apple. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just so amusing. <laughs> but anyway, on with the adventure! Finally, the tutorials are gone. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be going over here, and we're gonna be introduced to a new power up. Pick these up to make your Pikmin extra snappy. They also provide protection that will block one enemy attack. Even though I personally think the Hammer Seed is a more fun power up, this one is a very close second because when we get it, our Pikmin turn into fireworks. It is one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> I just love that so much, and I'm really excited to demonstrate what that's like when you play with the Wii Remote. I'm not going to be doing it this episode, maybe next episode if there's a power-up like that? I don't actually remember off the top of my head. But we're going to be going over here, and we're going to be dealing with some of these blowhog enemies. So you want to be careful with them, because they'll be all electrical when they start charging towards you. And they also can fire projectiles, so you want to be careful with them. But now that we've taken that guy out, we can destroy this question block because it was questioning our gaming skills. And let's pick up the nectar so that we can level up. Oh yeah. Now, this what I said about the hammer seed, how I wish something like that would appear in a real Pikmin game. The same thing is true about this one as well. I really hope that the power-ups in Pikmin and Adventure appear at some point in the main series because that'd be really cool and these are really fun power-ups so it'd be a shame if they were just locked behind it in line forever all right so uh one little fact uh, when i was this is my second take uh, trying to record this uh level um i was throwing pikmin at this thing because i was trying to talk about a story with them um and i didn't realize that um the camera had zoomed in closely to them so the top part art was defeat was Vanished like you saw right there, so I, I thought I destroyed it And I was kind of rambling on for a couple minutes getting interrupted and that's why I ended up just Scrapping that recording, but anyway, uh, we'll watch out for these guys because they will explode when they're defeated So they're not very nice at all Now what's also very not nice is uh, before recording this video I was doing my I was working on my notes for the Nintendo Land Plaza for this minigame uh, for the rewards and stuff um, and uh, I had most of my notes already and stuff like that for the other, for the other Pikmin Adventure mini games, but that one pot, that one pot, pot that we saw, that is the one that took me forever to find. <laughs> and I feel kind of si and when we see the footage of the, where it's located, you'll know why I feel silly. And we lost our Pikmin again. All right, we're gonna give that to our Pikmin buddies so they can have a power up as well. You better appreciate it. Uh, when the Pikmin has uh, the whip sheet, the whip seed, how do you pronounce it? Uh, when the Pikmin has the whip seed, uh, they'll have it'll act more like a whip than a firework. Uh, um, but it's still really fun to play with, no matter who you were playing as, whether you're playing as Olimar or the Pikmin. It's still a really great power up. Now I'm gonna go over here this way because um, my never mind then. <laughs> I was about to say that uh, that there was something over there, but there isn't. Thankfully, there aren't anything like um, star medals or anything like that in this game. We can just go through here normally without any need for exploration. Who needs exploring when you have linear gameplay? <laughs> I'm probably going to get yelled out in the comments for saying that. <laughs> Alright, so now we have some bulb orbs over here we can deal with. I really love how they appear from like toy capsules. It may be a little bit hard to see on the TV um, because the camera wasn't focused on them. But it's just a really neat detail, and I love it so much. They whip their Pikmin leaf back and forth. They whip their Pikmin leaf back and forth. <laughs> Why am I singing? <laughs> I don't even like that song. Alright then, let's go in here. And we have some more things we can go collect. Mine! Mine. Shiny. Hee 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 hee. I like the shiny. 
Even though I prefer the Hammer Seed, I think the Whip Seed is the one that I'd probably want to see in a Pikmin game more so than the Hammer Seed, because we already have Purple Pikmin, which are kind of like the Hammer Seed, but it'd be really interesting if there was like a Pikmin type that when you threw them, they acted like a firework. I just think that'd be really interesting. <laughs> so we go back this way. There's another Bulb Orb over there we can go deal with. Come on. Yeah, you're chasing me now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop it. Why are you so mean, Bulb Orb? Why are you so cruel? What have I ever done to you? Besides, you know, attack you and stuff. But that's not relevant. Get away from me. You're eating me now. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've never had the enemy be defeated in the middle of the eating animation. That's hilarious. All right, I'm gonna explore a little bit because I think there might be some. Yep, there is. I knew it. I know everything, even the ingredients to eggnog. Okie dokie, we have some more enemies we need to deal with. Who would have thought? I really wish we had the whip seed with us, but unfortunately we don't. When I say whip seed, it sounds like a wish seed. And it's making me think of Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good game. I really wish it would get a port to a more not modern system. Because even though because the controls in that game take a little bit take a little to get used to. I do like that game, I just wish that you know, yeah, an HD port or something like that. I know Masaru Sakura recently commented that um, a modern Kid Icarus Uprising port would be pretty difficult, and I can understand that because a lot of the systems in the game they use like Street Pass and things like that may be a little bit difficult to um, port over to a more modern console. In other words, I really wish the Switch had Street Pass. <laughs> uh, actually, did Kid Icarus Uprising have Street Pass? I know Smash Brothers 3 yes, did, but I remember. Yes, it does. It has three pass. I remember now. <laughs> Never, don't mind me, I'm just muttering about other Nintendo games. Why isn't there a Kid Icarus mini game in this game? Alright, let's continue taking you out. And you're defeated. That did take too long. At least I don't feel bad for taking out that guy. Did he turn into a rainbow when he defeated it? That's interesting. <laughs> Imagine that, be exploding in the rainbow instead of, you know, fire. Let's collect your coins. Super shiny coins are shiny. And let's go inside the dolphin. Technically, in this game, the Nintendo Land Prize is referred to as the ship rather than the dolphin. And I don't know why they did that because that's clearly, because that's clearly the dolphin. I think. Actually, no. The dolphin is in the first game. What's the name of the second ship? That's not important right now. <laughs> Alright, as usual, we're going to play one more mini game before we wrap things up around here. So, without further ado, let's go inside. Burst a giant balloon. I'll be 100% honest, I do not remember this level at all. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. The thing is, I have beaten all of these levels before, but it's been so long since I actually did it, and I probably sort of practiced for the test play before starting it. But, you know what, this is just a more of a for fun series. This isn't anything big like Tomb Raider Trilogy or anything like that, but... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take care of these guys real quick. Uh, ouch. I'm so sorry, Pikmin. I'm all alone now. Oh, no, I'm not. Alright, so, yeah. I guess the big gameplay... I, this is starting to come back to me. I think this is more of a battle gauntlet than any other other stages we've seen. Uh, so that's going to be really fun to commentate over, because I'm not that great at battle gauntlets. That's why I haven't beat the Trial of the Sword yet in Breath of the Wild. Uh, Alright, let's go over here. Take care of you. Uh, excuse me. That was rude. 
That was very rude, good sir. Except you're not a good sir, because that was very not nice. Alright, so we took care of that guy. We have a question block over here we can deal with. And now we're level 5, so we have the Pikmin Buds. Alright. Hey, I guess you could say these Pikmin are my buddies. <laughs> I'm not funny. Wee! <laughs> Uh, if they ever make it like a Nintendo Night 2 or something like that, I would love if they made a Splatoon mini game in this style. Um, that'd just be real fun. I really wonder how they would do that because, ouch! I knew I said I knew I should have gotten away from that, but I didn't because I'm dumb. We're gonna throw one at you. But yeah, I really wonder what it would be like if they made another Nintendo Land game, um, because Nintendo has a lot of franchises that they ha didn't represent at all in this game. Um, like, I think Pokemon and Kirby would probably be the big ones that didn't appear at all in this game. Um, so it'd be interesting if they have something like that and, like, a Fire Emblem and stuff like that. I just really wonder what it'd be like if they made a Nintendo Land 2. And why does that enemy look so cute when it's defeated? I don't like it! Stop making me feel bad for fighting these things! Uh, I'm gonna ignore that thing because I like the hammer. Bam, 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 hammer time! That is not the right song at all. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. And I really wish this area had the gamepad camera. Because it was... Ah, it's more dynamic on the gamepad, but it's just a boring overhead view on the TV. I can't demonstrate what the gamepad screen is like because Mavis doesn't exist anymore. It makes me so sad. Uh, Alright, well, actually, fun story about that. Um, when I was setting up the Wii U... Uh, during the on the Nintendo on the Wii U menu thing, uh, the Laura Laura Plaza, uh, for the Miiverse uh, section of that, um, they had this one message that was saying you can uh, talk to people using Miiverse, and internally I was all like, no, you can't. It's just so sad. Why is the Miiverse icon even on the Wii U anymore? It's it's just like a reminder of the fact that it's no longer there, and it's really depressing. I mean, they took off the Nintendo TV icon when that was discontinued, so I don't know why they didn't do the same for Miiverse. Alright, well, we got those guys we can deal with. I believe the Yellow Pikmin will probably be the best to take care of those guys, because I don't think they're affected as easily as the other Pikmin when uh, uh, you throw a... when they use their electrical attack, because Yellow Pikmin are impervious to electricity. Also, I believe it's only red, white, and blue Pikmin that appear in Pikmin Adventure. I don't think there's any uh, whites or purples. And Rock and Wing Pikmin didn't exist at this point yet. You know what? I want to talk about that real quick. Um, I want to talk about Hey Pikmin for a moment, because something that kind of bumps me out about that game is the fact that there are no new Pikmin introduced at all in that game. So, it really bumps me out. Like, they probably they could have come up with a couple of Pikmin... That would have worked perfectly for the touchscreen system in that game, but they didn't, and it kind of bums me out. You could probably argue the fact that the Pikmin control differently enough uh, because of the touchscreen things that they didn't really need any more Pikmin types, but at the same time, every Pikmin game has introduced a new Pikmin. Uh. I do like Hey Pikmin, it's just, I think, personally, it's the weakest of the series. Um, it's a, a not necessarily a bad thing, because it's only a spin-off. And I know for a fact it's not Pikmin 4, because I believe Nintendo already confirmed that it wasn't. It's just a fitter game between Pikmin 3 and 4. And I've already gone on my rants about how Pikmin 4 was confirmed years ago, and it still not, hasn't come out yet. We haven't even seen gameplay by the time this is coming out. Would you be destroyed already? You have a pixel of health left. Oh, come on. He has like a pixel of health left. Just go away. 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 Man, this is taking a really long time. Come yeah, on. Finally. Oh my goodness gracious with gravy! 
cheese and crackers are Tindo. <laughs> I'm lame. <laughs> Alright, so let's go grab those coins, and then we can move on to better, brighter things, and... Custom block! Fine. One all coin. One all coin. And with that, we're going to this video off here. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Nintendo Land. And until next time, it's geared to you. Oh yeah. Tell us fucking from far. Tell us fucking from far. Tell us fucking from far. Vegetable pout.